I need to go to the gym. I think I just gotta show you the little tip and trick. <laughs> What's up everybody? Today we're gonna be going to JDM California. We have a couple ads, some photos that we wanna take of our new releases on the hoodies. Frankie's grabbing some stuff right now. I love the sleeves on it. That's my favorite part of this design. This is a wavy design. This one's probably my favorite one that we've ever released actually up until this point so we're gonna shoot these today how is there steam coming out of it there's no water in here damn we're about to break this shit we always break everything <laughs> get your ass in the car boy i got you Ivan. don't even worry wow. about it Thanks. i open the door for everyone else <laughs> all right frankie peace later frank right here jayma california yeah let's go through the back though damn we got panera bread that's my way i don't know if you guys know this oh, but we panera all fuck bread. with panera bread we're there like twice a week oh, it's panera nuts so it's the best it's soup spot right. hands down I'm, I'm so excited about it, guys. I was like, oh shit, these guys follow me. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see it all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's really good. Man. This is all me. I used to have both these cars at one time. I had this in an SI and I had that in an SI. I have both of them. Literally for the past 30 minutes, Ivan's just been like, fuck, dude. Fuck what am I gonna do about my phone? <laughs> I don't have Metro PCS and I get a text. I was like, oh, your payment for Metro PCS has been processed. I'm like, I have T-Mobile. Why do I have a Metro PCS tag? Like, that makes no sense. Shout out to JDM California. They were nice enough to let us do our ads and our shoot inside of the warehouse and around. Probably use one or two of their cars, hopefully. But yeah, thank you guys very much. That was very nice to them. And we're going to get started on this shoot right now. This place is badass. They have everything. They have engines, they got front bumpers, they got coilovers, steering wheels, tail lights. Look at all these bumpers. Anything that you guys need to that they don't have in stock, they can get for you. They're very well connected, very well plugged in. This is a dope ass place. You guys should definitely check out JDM California. Now we're starting to throw our own like car events too. I saw that. Just, yeah, we just walked How is it? The first, the first show is March 24th. Oh, Mark, so, yeah, you guys are more than welcome. Yeah, to for sure. Shout out to Nicole. Woo! <laughs> Big wing gang though. We're really hungry and we don't want to wait. So Panera Bread's right here, but we don't know if it's just their corporate office or if they actually sell food here, but we're gonna find out. Employees only. Let's go, Frank, I'm sorry. Probably broke your heart. I just got dumb, I just, bro. I'm disappointed, I'm fucking dying, bro. I need to oh, eat. My eyes are fucking bagged out, bro. I'm craving Panera Bread now, though. Yo, how the fuck's up with this iPhone, blood? I don't know if someone's like trying to breach my personal information and trying to get a, you know, screw me over or something, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really scary at this point. All right, guys, we're back. And guess what time it is? It's finally time to work on the RX-7 again. Uh, me and Ivan are just setting up right now. We're gonna be putting in the harness bar today, so we're gonna see how it goes, but we're gonna get started on that right now. I'm so tired of being sick. I've been sick for the past like two weeks. It's been going around all over California, all my friends, family, co-workers. I think Ivan's the one who got me sick in the first <laughs> nah, place. Nah, fuck that shit. Yeah, you were, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why I sound all congested today. I got the red harness bar. I wanted it to match the red harnesses. Bro, these are black. What do you mean they're red, bro? I know, I wanted the red on red though. Well, oh, fuck. Too late. <laughs> We're still gonna run it now. And these should be the connectors to the seat belt. These are what hold the harness bar in place. So, me and Ivan are gonna fit it into the car. When, when I was ordering it, the sizing was actually weird because when we were Googling and looking up the size of what size harness bar I should get for the car, we were getting a lot of mixed reviews and mixed sizing. So we're not exactly sure if it's gonna fit or if I'm gonna have to return it and get a different size. But me and Ivan are gonna go ahead and find out right now. I don't know how this is gonna fit, bro. 
it should fit right here in this spot. We just gonna have to wait until we get the the, the little the little adapter plates or whatever they are. Then we bolt them in, and then we gonna have to just see how it, how it's gonna work. So the harness bar was fitting kind of weird, so we looked it up real quick. And if you can see here, the harness bar tilts a little bit. So basically, we're just gonna put the harness bar brackets in first, and then see how we can fit it in after. Right now, I'm removing the 17 millimeter bolt that holds the seat belt in place for both the driver's side and the passenger side. That's the spot where the bracket's gonna go ahead and bolt onto, and that bracket is what holds the harness bar in place. belt has gone. Yeah, so you always gotta put your bolts back so you don't lose them. So it's not gonna fit. Originally I ordered a universal harness bar and it was like adjustable and everything, right? They were out of stock on that and they shipped me this harness bar and I specifically asked them, does it fit a 1994 FD RX-7? They told me it did and there's no way that that's fitting in the car right now. We, me and Ivan have been struggling with it for the past half an hour, trying to figure out a way to get it to fit and it won't even get past this part and it's gotta be higher up. I don't wanna risk jamming it in and fucking up this pillar of the car. I don't wanna force it in. We could probably smash it in, but that's never a good thing to do. I'm actually gonna go email the company right now. I don't even wanna wait and see what they can do to hopefully fix the problem. It was Redline 360 actually that I ordered from. I'm gonna email them right now and see what they can do to fix it. I need to get a new one out ASAP. This car is worth the hassle, but nothing has gone right so far. Everything that we've tried to do, that's okay, that's expected with cars, especially cars like this, so I love my car, guys. So I'm trying to at least get something done today, since the harness bar obviously isn't going to work out. So I'm gonna install the steering wheel hub on the car. Since the car's not running right now anyways, it's the perfect time to do it, so let's get into it right now. There's basically four bolts in the back of the steering wheel. You just gotta unbolt each one. It should come right off. So the middle part of the steering wheel is off, and now you just gotta make sure that you always disassemble the airbag. One thing you wanna make sure that you do is leave the bolt on slightly, so that way when you're yanking the steering wheel loose, you don't like pop yourself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to go to the gym. I think I just gotta show you the little tip and trick. <laughs> if you get this right now, I would be mad at myself. Try yanking it, that way I don't feel stupid no more. Alright, alright, alright. Whatever, Ivan. <laughs> it's like that same shit with the fucking jelly jar or pickle jar. Yeah. I loosened it up for you. <laughs> oh yeah, really? <laughs> we got the hub on. Ivan's just gonna finish up tightening it right now. And then we're gonna put the cover over. And then we should be done. Guys, okay, so I got the hub installed for my steering wheel. I know it looks like shit right now because, you know, obviously this is gonna go right here and it's gonna connect to it, but I'm not gonna put any of that together until I can get the rest of the interior and everything all good. Uh, the quick release, obviously when it's ready, it's gonna go right here. So that looks fucking dope. I'm stoked on that. It wasn't the best outcome today, but at least we got something done. Me and Ivan are gonna clean up, wrap it up for the day, and head home. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for those of you that have been watching all of our vlogs, uh, we really appreciate it. And we definitely take notice to the same people that are watching and commenting. So thank you guys so much for that. You know, you don't know how much that means to us. We're really putting it all on the line on your YouTube. We just appreciate the support we've received so far. So I'm gonna close out the video for today, guys. The giveaway winner for this video is so congratulations to you. Remember guys, every video we do a giveaway, so make sure that you comment down below for a chance to win on our next video. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Don't forget that part, that's important. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm.